Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to uh, do the um, DIY on the chargers that I got the other day from um, from Family Thrift Outlet. I had hauled them the other day. Let me make it so you can. I'm trying to get y'all to see this and not me, right? Okay, these can I got these, they were brown. Some of them had these little red gems in here, but I popped them out. And what I wanted to do, I didn't want it to be like mirror silver. I wanted it to almost look like, um, uh, I'll show you in a minute. But, you know, what is it? <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? I wanted it to look like um, galvanized metal almost. So, I found, I had this, uh, I had got these a while ago from Dirt Cheap. And they were like 25 cent a piece or 50 cent a piece or something. And um, I had one that was like a champagne gold, and I had one that was silver. The champagne gold, I'm only gonna use a little squirt here or there, but I also have some vinegar in here. And this is just pure vinegar, no water in it. And the reason why I use the vinegar is because I want like some pop marks. You know what I mean? I don't want it to look perfectly um, silver. So, all I did, and I'm gonna do this right near my phone, y'all. Ain't that crazy? Let me move this over a little bit. Uh, all I did, let me stand up too. I just went, oops, I just went over this, like real fine, like that to get the, um, I didn't even do the back either, guys. Because I want it to look rough. And I just kind of did real quick spurts like this. So it didn't even, wasn't even a big thing. And then after I did this first coat with this, let me get it done. Quick first, I'm doing this one a little messier because uh, I'm trying to get it done. Okay, so now that that's done like that, I'm gonna take the vinegar and I'm just gonna up in the air like this and just let it fall on it. You see, I'm just letting it fall. And that's going to give me the um, pop marks with the paint. Because it's not the mirror effect paint, it's not going to give you the, um, you know, that effect if you did it. But it's going to give you like marks, like water marks. And I'm going to let that dry. But now while I still have the vinegar on there, I'm going to do a couple more little sprays right over top of the vinegar. And I got a really good effect on it. I like the effect. Kind of moves it around all right and then with the gold i just wanted it you know to galvanize sometimes it looks like it has rust on it so i just did like a little bit here and there and then i went back again with a little bit of the silver just so it's not too much and that was all i did guys and so I let that dry, and I don't pour the vinegar off. I let it dry, just like that. And this is what I got came up with. Now, how are these falling? All right, see these things right here? I had got these at Walmart, right? And I had used them before, so I don't have a lot of them. So I'm probably not going to use these, but I could run back to Walmart and get these big pieces of the um, uh, rhinestones. Or you could go get to take the ones from Dollar Tree, these little glass ones, the small ones, though. And they fit right in there, guys. Look at that. Right in that little hole to give you a little bling. So, again, you know I'm doing the farmhouse with a little glam added on to it because I can't go straight farmhouse. Just not me. So, I'm going to use these as my chargers under the sunflowers. When The brown ones, when I had did it with the brown, it was good with the lemons, but... With the sunflowers, I'm thinking I need to bring this uh, to break up some of the sunflower. I needed to bring some more brightness in. So, yep, that's how, that's how I did it. So then you would just glue these in. And, um, you know, all four spaces. And you have a little bling with your um, charger. And that's all it is to it. But look, y'all, I ain't even going to take them out because I didn't glue them in yet. Before they go flying all over the place. I ain't even do the back. You see how it just caught a little bit of the paint? Because, like I said, y'all know what I say. If somebody comes in and lifts up your charger and says you didn't paint the back, walk them to the door. You know how I feel. So, it's just that easy. 
So that's it. So you will see the next time you'll see these, these will be on the sunflower table. I'm working on it, getting it together slowly. But um, I wanted to get this video up just in case somebody wanted to. And like I said, this is not written um, written in stone that this is how you would do it. It just, for me, it worked because I'm going to pick you up and show you the puddling effect. See, can you see that? You see how it's puddling and then it's going to dry like that. And it's going to have almost like, um, you know, distressed steel. Like distressed galvanized steel. You see? hope you can see it on there when it dries it's not it doesn't stick up it's just like a little distressing in there and that gold gives that hint of a little bit of rust like it's been you know that look so it's not bad I like it hope you guys enjoy I will be back I'm trying to upload this so we can I can do that live tonight um I will talk to you guys in a few thanks a lot bye bye